be in the Lord's Prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Oh, I like that very much. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Accept the agenda and the addendum. I will move. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Roll call, please. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. Mr. Yerda? Yes. Mr. Betcher? Yes. Mr. Double? Yes. Uh, public participation. Our administrators were told they didn't have to yep. be here. They're off for the summer. Just, just to let you ladies know, usually, um, if it's not summer, mm -hmm. every principal is here and they give a little information about what's going on at the building some highlights of what's going on um, so I just have a few things to say real quick for Brooke Bysville and Seacrest um, we have uh, been um, able to through some funds find some um, or put out there that we're going to get some tutors next year uh, into these buildings um, in two buildings uh, the tutors are going to be specifically concentrated on kindergarten um, for kind of that educational transition. stuff lost also from COVID and also the transition moving from preschool to kindergarten. If there's, if there's an issue, we're going to have tutors there. Um, Meadowbrook is uh, currently still looking for a um, special education uh, teacher. Uh, I believe the high school has solidified a um, um, social studies teacher as long as all the paperwork come back, comes back okay. And Molly uh, Caplet, the curriculum director, is um, working on test scores and uh, she's going to put those out on a spreadsheet to send out to principals so we can look where we stand with other districts, what our percentages are, and where we need to move. Okay, is that it? Yep, that's it. All right, uh, public participation. If you, you three both all signed up to speak, but you're done now, or do you want to speak? Oh, is that what that was for us yeah. to speak? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you said so I'm signed in. No, that's if you want to speak. No, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I, <laughs> I did talk to the superintendent. I talked to him on the phone today, okay. but I mean, I'm still probably going to keep showing up, though. Sure, that's, that's awesome. Awesome. You're, more than <laughs> yeah. you're more than welcome. Keep Absolutely. on your toes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you can help educate other people that you talk to. Yeah, yeah, yes. 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 and that's what... Yeah. Yep. I like transparency. Yep. Did you want to speak? No. no. Okay. Treasurer's report. Okay. I have approval of minutes from May 27th. Approval of financial report for May. Approve the resolution necessity for the renewal of an emergency tax levy. Um, I told you guys about this. This is that $1.4 million levy that we renew every five years. No changes to levy, no new tax. Um, approve the wage changes for the following positions, effective July 1. Um, substitute cook, custodian, parapro, and secretary to $10 an hour for minimum wage. Uh, approve the investment management agreement between Rolling Hills and the Red Tree Investment Group. Um, we financially, I updated you guys, but we financially um, closed the building project. So I get the money wired July 7th. Instead of being wired to me, it's going to be wired to this investment company. It's an approved company. Um, if you look at the attachment, like Carrollton, there's a whole list of schools that's done the same thing we're doing. They were an investment company for them. Um, Patrick King, that he's been here at meetings, he recommended them. Um, approve the resolution with Rolling Hills and OFCC um, assistance program as Presented. It's just another one. Everything's approved. Everything's on track. They just need another resolution done. Approved then now certificate for valid purchase orders greater than three thousand dollars. There's a black tree. We just didn't have the PON. I didn't know when he was going to bill us and didn't have his information. Um, he's the guy that for the timber 
ECO. that did all the work? The, the forester. Yes. Then this ECO one, that is the Willow Branches. Mm -hmm. um, they run that school down in Pleasant City for us. Um, recommend transferring the following funds from the general fund to athletic support fund, $16,233.75. Band support fund, $722.42. Athletic account, $12,940.47. And food service account, $15,517.93. Um, I was very impressed with this. Jeff, for attendance to be down how it was where because of COVID, you know, he couldn't have people in. Totally transferred twelve thousand dollars is great. Then food service. If you remember the first three, um, three nine weeks of the year, we didn't have school on Mondays. Two years ago, I transferred eighty thousand dollars in. Wow. Last year, I transferred forty five thousand dollars. The fact is, it's down to fifteen. Wow. And I mean, she, she's serving kids this summer. She sent us the numbers. I mean, it's amazing how many kids yes. she's even serving this summer. I mean, she's done a great job. Not only is she serving and feeding kids. I mean, she's turning around her account also. So that, not to inter that's just good management on Angie's part. Oh, oh Angie what, does an excellent job. Tremendous. Yeah, if you see Angie? She's Yeah, amazing. thank her. I mean, in the amount she, of hours she puts in. Oh, yeah, amazing. With the concession and everything. I mean, she took that on on top of yes. her food service. Okay. Um, recommend transferring the following funds from the term account to the athletic account, $272.41. <laughs> Then recommend approving an increase in the appropriations by $447,000. Approve an increase in estimated revenues by $479,000. And recommend trans um, approving temporary appropriations for next year at $13 million. And you can see the number. I won't just bore you of reading numbers to you. Okay. Do I have a motion to accept the Treasury's report? Motion. Do I have a second? No second. Okay, discussion. One of the items on here was the renewal of the levy. That is a renewal. That is not a new tax. No new tax. <laughs> something we've had for probably over 20 years. Yes, we have. And it just comes up every five years. So that is not an additional tax. It's not money that's going to go into the new building. No. Yeah, nothing to do with the building. It's operating project. expenses, and it's just <laughs> a tax renewal. <laughs> So, yeah, that will not affect your taxes. I nope. just wanted to make sure everybody understood that. Any other discussion? Roll call. Okay. Mr. Feather? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. Mr. Dutcher? Yes. Mr. Udeck? Yes. Is there anyone who has a report of any of the standing committees? I um, attended the uh, Mideast uh Board meeting. Board meeting. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. been a day. Um, uh, at the beginning of the month, we actually had it at the Buffalo campus. Um, they are, we toured the uh, new large animal veterinary science building, uh, which is pretty impressive. Um, we are uh, they are still looking for a place to do their CDL school. Um, we are looking, uh, Mideast is looking to uh, take that over. The one up at Janae and Hutton is closing. Mm -hmm. And that leaves us just uh, the one in Columbus now. So Mideast is trying to uh, get that, and it will be a place for school bus drivers to get their CDL. Mm -hmm. That's one of the oh, things that's, they're working that's on. That's awesome. Um, so that I wanted to bring that up uh, today, that we might have a local, you know, Zanesville, that they can uh, take the classes. Because it used to be I could go in today and take my CDL and start driving tomorrow. Well, starting... Uh, there's have, a huge yeah, there's there's a program huge, that's involved. Yes. Yeah. My boys are going through it right now. And they went up and passed their pre trip. Didn't do too good on the skills, so they got to go back. But they're, they're told them that in February, there'll be no more just going up and take it on your right. own. They'll, you'll have to go to school. Yeah, you have to have classwork. You yes, have to have so many hours. That's, that's a big plus yes. for Mid East yes. if they have to yes. go to school, you know. Yeah. It'll be a huge plus because everybody's going to have to do it then. Right now, the issue with Mid East is we can't find a, a location for it. Um, we need, you know, 10, 15 acres. Yeah, you need 10 and, acres. Uh, you know, we talked about moving it up to the new uh, business park there outside of Zanesville, close to the airport. And they said, yeah, you can do that until the factory comes in and wants that spot. And then we're out of the spot again. So, okay. so. Uh, anything else? As far as uh, the timber, we've been paid for the timber in full. They are starting 
They were going to start this week. Yes, this week they started. Have you heard yeah. anything good or bad? Anybody new complaints? Nope. Anything? Nope. The only, I mean, there wasn't a complaint. Uh, the uh, ag classes just wanted to know would would all the trees be taken down? And I said yeah, no, just because, selective, because yeah. they do sap uh, yeah. as a project. And I said no, just selective trees. And if you wanted to know that they should be marked, so that was the only question that I had. According I, to Ryan, when he brought the check in last week, like we shouldn't even be able to tell they were out there. That's by what looking, I was told. Yeah, you know, they're the just stadium. taking a percentage yeah, of them. So it's good. All right. Uh, any old business? No. Superintendent's report. Okay, superintendent would like to recommend, uh, first of all, letter A. Uh, most of these are 21st century. Uh, we do have a substitute paraprofessional in there. Um, as you go down, you'll see the one that's highlighted, Samantha Schaefer. She is an intervention specialist, um, and she will be um, at Brook. Um, and so the rest of those are mostly 21st century people that are doing that program during the summer. Uh, B, handbooks for these schools. Um, C, approved contract uh, with the ECOESC for um, fiscal year 2022 as presented. Uh, we are accepting tonight the retirement of Mark Addis. Um, we appreciate his service. Uh, he is a bus driver, and so um, we will uh, be using Mark as of July 31st. Uh, as we always do, we'll non-renew all spring coaches for the 2020-2021 school year. Um, approve the maternity leave uh, for Kristen Mills as presented. Approve the open enrollment student list for 21-22 school year as presented. And then John Curry, who is another bus driver, um, he is resigning uh, due to health reasons. And so we are losing two bus drivers, but in talking with Dave, he has been training. Um, I, I, I feel confident that we can um, re, re, replace these wow, two. That's yes, good. Cool. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm hoping. Um, yeah. that One just passed their test Monday. Okay. That's okay. The case. So, um, I just hope we don't lose them to somebody else. So that, that's yeah. what I yeah. think that I think we'll you know, have. So, Superintendent, then, just to, to uh, go back, uh, letters A through H. Do I have a motion to accept uh, Superintendent's report A through H? I'll move. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Yes. Any discussion on any of the items? Roll call. Okay. Mr. Humphrey? Yeah, yes. Mr. Dublin? Yes. Mr. Dutcher? Yes. Mr. Reader? Yes. Uh, no correspondence? No. No informational items. We are going into executive session to discuss matters that are required to be confidential by law. Uh, there will be no action after we come out of executive session, so we will not vote on anything after that. So, uh, Do I have a motion to go into executive session? Is that for contractual litigation or... Personnel. Thank you. Yep. Personnel. Yep. Yes. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Roll call. Mr. Dudley? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Detra? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Yes. And it is. Second. Like I said, when we come out, there will be no further business whatsoever. So, and your meetings, and are, we're not discussing critical race theory. <laughs> yes, that is not happening. <laughs> and the meetings are, are we going to be back to normal schedule? After July. July, it's the 29th. 29th. It's a, I think that's a We fifth. moved it back one because. Yeah, I'm on vacation. Yeah, on vacation. this time of year, it's hard to keep that yeah. third Thursday of. Every month is vacation. So we can't do it without kids. Yeah, so I know. Thursday, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 August, which should be as long as 